greetings and blessings. I want to thank you all for following, encouraging, and supporting my coming out, as it were, because I've been doing this a long time, as many of you have gathered from everything I've put out so far. And I'm sharing this brief video as a promo, so to speak. I'm in the process of putting together um, a seven episode series of the St. Germain Codes. This is content that brings together the entirety of all of my material, remembrances, discoveries, and insights, and along with some storytelling, I'm going to do a little more reveal that way. What I'm putting together is essentially the grand finale of what all the codes point to. And it's really astonishing and spectacular regarding a hidden message that is so clear. I trust you're appreciating the amount of work I have put into these videos so far. Now for a little sneak peek pertaining to what I'm talking about as so profound and sublime. What if there was a hidden coded message in our English language that was put there by Francis Bacon before he became Saint Germain? What if there was a perfect sequence that matched the Fibonacci codes or sequence which was encoded to the Zodiac? Does the story of the Zodiac conceal the path to ascension? What I've found is astonishing. There's conclusive proof that the key words that highlight the path of enlightenment and the core ingredients around the creation codes are keyed to numbers that come back to nine. I felt very spiritually compelled to crack all these codes from the beginning. I felt that I had a hand in sealing the Hall of Records at an early age. My time traveler friend and cosmic scientist told me that the seventh seal image I channeled in 1996 was the sigil on the door of the Hall of Records. I had a few other channels tell me the same thing. I remembered that I uncovered the Sphinx in a past lifetime and that because of that I built a diagonal temple as a testament to the Hall of Records and the entrance underground which I was able to penetrate and access at that time. When I went to Egypt with Larry Hunter the first time, I learned that a man was digging under his house and he hit red granite. It was right where the HOR block is in the image on the screen now. The longitude and latitude of the seconds create a crosshair at the edge of the Hall of Records. These seconds are 22 and 33. Uh -huh. I mean... How incredible that this number has been encoded in so many places. There's a lot more to say about this image as well as stories about my trips to Egypt. When I first had a channeling, I asked what my connection was to the Great Pyramid, and they said, you are the cornerstone. I've come to understand many things about my life's there and my involvement in the layout and architecture. Actually, when Drumbelow, back some 20 years ago, said... There were three people who were instrumental in building the Great Pyramid. My ears perked up. He then said, it was Ra, Thoth, and Imhotep. A voice in my head then said, you were Imhotep. I have remembered many details since, as this was over, as I stated 20 years ago, there's been a compounding of knowledge, information, and recall, which has uh, compelled me to put all this together. It's also interesting to note that when Casey wrote in his books back in the 30s about the high priest who had returned to the Great Mount in 1998, this stood out to me. When I finally had a chance to go to Egypt for the first time in this lifetime, it was 1998. And at that time, Casey also merged with me as a braid for a while and shared many things with me. I'm beginning to share more of this type of content uh, and stories around the things I've experienced in this coming out. I really wanted a body of work to come first so that the foundation was solid before I told stories that could seem like just stories. I wanted as much proof as possible that would help me more fully embrace the things I was remembering. So in the process of becoming, we're all challenged with Oh my God, you know, seriously, this is 
could this be true? Am I crazy? And so the numbers have helped because the more you understand all these numbers, the greater you have uh, a toolbox for the divine to communicate with you. Like having a palette, um, you want many colors, not just 1111, black and white. And so all these three digit numbers that are coming out uh, in these ever evolving sequences give them more color by numbers to communicate the messages. Again, I appreciate you and your interest. I trust that this info, the codes, the seal, and the energy are shifting and expanding your awareness like it did mine. And as a way of showing that and helping me to be able to focus the needed time to put this series together completely, I'm hoping that you will value the information enough to become a patron at Patreon. I put several levels of membership together. The first one is only $5 a month, which gives you access to the next series entirely over the next seven months. Many of you may know that I'm also doing additional things behind the scenes to help humanity. And this passion to create the sort of climax of material needs a little help because of how much time it takes to create the artwork um, as well as put the video together, edit it. It's definitely a lot of work that I'm happy to do. I've given a lot of material away and I'm passionate about it and I hope that you know you can show me a little love and I can continue to do this. Thank you so much for tuning in and stay in tune because there's a lot more to come and I'm very pleased to be able to provide the information and thank you for the testimonials and the feedback that as intended, the information and the energy is activating, uplifting, and transformative. Many blessings. Much love.